Hey, all you beautiful people, once again, welcome back to episode 29 of Happy Campers on the Locus of Control. Here is today's quote that we're kicking this episode off with. Leaders inspire accountability through their ability to accept responsibility before they place blame. Lots of abilities in that quote there. Um, yes, the locus of control. It's the degree to which people believe they have control over the outcome of events in their lives. It's a belief system regarding the causes of his or her experiences and the factors to which that person attributes success or failures. I want to talk about the locus of control because I haven't really specified, you know, this exact definition, but locus control, like it said in, in the beginning of that um, that quote, beginning of the episode, accountability. That's what that's what the locus of control has to do. Um, where are you? Where are you placing responsibility? Where are you? Are you taking accountability um, for all all outcomes within one's life? We talk about accountability all the friggin' time on Happy Campers here. Uh, and again, I want to have a whole entire episode on it, just just titled accountability, and just talk about as I believe in, in life. To, in order to have this 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 is to minimize anxiety as much as you can, to minimize depression as much as you can, to minimize fear and stress as much as you can, I think you have to take 110% accountability in your life. This is, the, this, is the, this is the metaphor and scenario I always use. I say, all right, you're at a house, right? You're at, you're at your house and you're at your apartment with your friends and you invite a bunch of friends over to come and hang out and you invited Joe and Joe comes over and everyone's having a good time and Joe is over there and knocks over the lamp. Joe gets a little too tipsy, knocks over the lamp, breaks the lamp or whatever. Whose fault was it? Many people would say it's Joe. Joe got way too tipsy. Joe shouldn't have. Joe shouldn't have um, drank too much, and Joe shouldn't have been close to that lamp. God darn it, Joe! Why would you break my lamp? In my opinion, to be just to take 100 percent, 110 percent control and responsibility. You go, damn, it's my fault. What? What do you mean? I invited Joe. I shouldn't have invited him here. I poured Joe too many shots, or I did this or that. Just taking that extra extra accountability, I think, just relieves so much stress. I, it, for me personally, it just relie- relieves so much stress for me to go to the, you know, the X degree and just take responsibility for that. Like, hey, I shouldn't have invited Joe. I invited Joe in the first place. I invited him here. Or, I, you know, I shouldn't have invited Joe. I'm glad I invited Joe, but, you know, dang, that's on me. I, 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 I made that lamp falling over happen, um, whatever you believe in. But, yeah, I, I just believe that that – I believe you have to take accountability to that, that degree. And um, uh, we've also talked about – in episodes before, I talked about – I think I had Dawson Pittman here – um, was the victim mentality. Victim mentality is the exact um, uh, replication of external loca- external belief of locus of control. At people who believe in, let's just, re- I'll, I'll, I'll read this here too. Um, locus of control is conceptualized as internal, which is a belief that one can control one's own life, or external, which is a belief that life is controlled by outside factors, outside forces, which a person cannot influence. Therefore, life's outcomes are basically up to chance or fate, destiny, whatever you want, right? Locus of control is, you know, the external portion of the locus of control is, is, is that victim mentality is an exact replication of that, right? They blame everything else. I am not responsible for anything in my life. I am not responsible for my bad grades. I am not responsible for my low paying job. I am not responsible for being fat, all these different things, right? you know, not having any money. This is everybody else. This is the government. This is this is the big pharma. This is my parents. This is my friends, et cetera, et cetera. Everyone else is to blame for all of my outcomes in my life, failures or successes, right? That's the difference between the, yeah, actually let's back up again. That's the difference between victim mentality. Victim mentality are, you know, in my opinion, sick, sick-minded people. And, 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 and not the fact that they're they're chosen to be sick. They just don't know this yet. They're, 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 it's, a, it's a legitimate withdrawal, and they're not a withdrawal. It's a legitimate downside in their life that they they, they can't understand. Um, but the victim mentality folks blame all of their failures on everyone else. Everyone else when it comes to their successes. Right, their achievements. Then, yeah, yeah, they'll be like, "Oh yeah, it's all me, baby. I-, I got it all." But when you're looking at the locus of control, and it talks about external, external, external locus of control, people they 100% believe anything in their life, positive or negative, is controlled by luck, fate, chance, anything else. It's controlled by external forces. I, whether I become an astronaut or whether I become a bum, has nothing to do with me. That's what people of external locus of controls believe. I personally have internal. Locus of control, as you cannot tell, I say you have to take, I believe you have to take 110% responsibility for everything in your life. Individuals with strong internal locus of control believe events in their lives 
derive primarily from their own actions. People with a strong external locus of control tend to praise or blame external factors. So this is the uh, scenario I have. This is the, um, this is the, yeah, this is the scenario I want to use on this to make it really easy here. A failed exam. We went in and we failed an exam. Here is an internal response. Man, ah, dang, I failed that. I didn't study. I didn't study enough. My abilities weren't good enough. I didn't do enough. I didn't ask enough questions during, during the class sessions. I just, I didn't do enough to make my abilities within taking that test good because I failed that test. It's on me. Put my head down. We'll get it next time. We'll get back to work. Or an external response would be like, well, failed that test. That test was a bunch of bullshit. That teacher is a bunch of bullshit. That teacher sucks. And uh, there's too many surprises. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go complain. I'm gonna go complain to the principal because this teacher sucks. I hate this teacher. They're too hard and life is horrible. You know what? Actually, no, it was my mom. My mom kept me up last night. She was over there bounding Ronnie and they're making a room bounce and everything. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Lily, and then the list, you go on and on and on. I know you know people like that. No matter what happens in their life, it is everything else. Everything else. It has nothing to do with them. They just, you know, it's, it's, it's any other person, any other, dog ate my homework type people, right? Those are those external locus of control people. Um, another quote I have is, take control of your life. I believe this one reflects straight to the internal um, locus of control. Take control of your life. Take responsibility for your life. I believe those who take responsibility for lives, right, have that more strong, that more strong sense of internal locus of control. These are the people who stress a lot less and who have a lot less anxiety because they think everything is up to me. This is all up to me. I have control over this. This is the only, this is the only hiccup I have within the locus of control with internal, right? Because, um, we talked about it in the intro, we talked about which one's better. Is there a better one? And yes, there is. Um, psychologists, will say the exact same thing too. The internal is a lot better because it just it, 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 it's a matter of accepting responsibility and taking accountability for everything that hap- to the things that happen in your life. But this is the only hiccup I have with it, right? Because you know you, you, you want a person to like you. You want a girl to like you. You go out there, you, 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 you do all the dashing things, right? You, you try to make an impression. You're really, really nice to them. You treat them nice. You know, you're kind, you're caring. You show them, you tell them about yourself, et cetera, et cetera. You did everything you can do. Now, you can't stress about whether they're going to like you or not. You can't literally make someone like you or literally make someone love you, right? You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the only hiccup I have is like, I guess, I, I, don't, know how, I don't know how many, I haven't thought about how many um, different scenarios I could factor into, but that's, you don't, you don't really have control of that. Oh, I guess, and here's another one, right? You, you, you are your team member, whether that's in the business, school, sports, whatever. You have all internal control over doing your role. You're like, I am going to make sure my role as a, let's, let's do football, right? As a wide receiver, I am going to block those cornerbacks. I need to block. I'm going to crack that linebacker. When I need to crack. I'm going to catch all the balls that I need to catch. I am going to do whatever I can do to make sure my wide receiver position, my position achieves 100%. That's what I'm going to do. But now you don't really have control over whether the teams are going to win or not, right? You did as much as you can do for your position, for yourself, and now whether the team is going to win or not, you know, you, I don't think you can really, you can't really focus on that. That's my only, that's my only differentiation between, um, you know, total internal control, uh, because you know, there's only so much you can, you, there's only so much I think you actually can control in life, and whether you know what, what everyone, everyone else's decisions, I really don't think you can. So, you know, internal control, you know, just. It's for me, the internal factor is more belief of I can control everything that I do. I can't necessarily control everything that's going to happen to me, but I can give myself the best chance to make what I want happen to me happen, right? Treating that girl right, die, you know, you know, being all dashing and, and, and trying to get her attention. I'm giving myself the best chance for her to eventually like me or me playing that wide receiver position, doing the best I can, playing my role to the, you know, to the, to my, to my best talents, my best skills. That's giving my team the best position to win. That's my, that's where my, you know, line of internal control exists. Um, uh, if a person has an internal locus of control, that person attributes success to his or her own abilities or efforts. A person who expects to succeed 
will be more motivated and more likely to learn. A person with external locus of control who attributes his or her success to luck or fate will be less likely to make effort needed to learn. That's perfect. Let's go back to the failed exam example. If you're a person with internal control, you can be like, well, whether I fail this exam tomorrow, whether, you know, whatever I do on this exam tomorrow, good or bad, it is all up to me. It is all up to me what I do tonight and all the weeks previous before this test, right? So let's just, let's just, let's, let's not make it example where you wait to the last day to study for a test, right? We have a test in two weeks. Whether I fail or pass that exam in two weeks is all dictated to me. It's all on me. It's all on my shoulders, right? This, this is, this is a great example on um, with, within, within internal control, because you know, there's no, there's no subjectivity to the, to the scoring of the test. It's completely objective, right? It's either A or B. There's no, there's no, well, you know, I, I only put A or B true or false, but you know, it actually could be maybe, you know, you don't have control over whether I'm going to make that right or not. No, that's no teach. Uh, it's A or B. It's true or false. That's kind of how the test is. So, you know, those, the, 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 the team stuff, this, this, this is a great example, right? Tests, um, school, when, they, when there's, whenever there's an objective, um, scoring, right? It's boom. It's easy, right? Making money, making a lot of money. You know, you're pretty much, it's pretty much, you put in a hard work, right? You market, right? You know, all these different things. You're pretty much going to, you're going to make a lot of money. You're a salesman. You go out there, you make the most amount of phone calls. You try your hardest, et cetera, et cetera. You, you know, there's going to be an outcome to it. You have a determination over the outcome you make or over the income you make. Um, so yeah, going back to the, there's a test in two weeks. I have 100% control whether or not I am going to pass or fail that test. Everything's on me. Everything is on my shoulders. That person is going to study for those two weeks. That person is going to work hard. That person is going to be in the library. That person to be, you know, put their nose in a book. They're going to study. The external person will be like, well, I got a test in two weeks. That teacher is bullshit. Their past test, again, bunch of random, random surprises. The teacher doesn't teach us at all. That teacher sucks. You know what? whether I do bad or good it has nothing to do with me. It's, it's basically how easy or hard that she's going to make that test. It has nothing to do with me. I can't study. I can't study enough to be ready for that woman's test unless it's easy, right? That person of those next two weeks is going to sit around, drink beer, smoke a little dope, you know, huh? have a good time, kick it, wicked, it, it, boo, you know, just chill for a little bit. And they're not going to study that much. They're not going to be motivated to study. They may, they may study. I shouldn't judge them. Not everyone's going to be like that, but they're not going to have the motivation to go out and study. Right? I wouldn't either. If I knew no matter what I did, whatever I did, no matter how much I studied that test, that my fate or outcome on that test has nothing to do with me, then hell no. I wouldn't study either, man. Shit. But I have internal control. I know for a fact, right? Because tests are objective scoring. It is either, it is that, it is, right? It's one of the answers on there. It is, no matter what. You know, S, I guess, <laughs> there you go, there you go. I guess essay, right? That's a little bit different. And you have to really write it out because that can kind of be, you know, be based, that's kind of subjective. That can kind of be based down to the, um, to the uh, teacher's, you know, personality and the way she likes to grade. So that can be a little bit different. But we're going to an A or B, you know, multiple choice, true or false, circled question, scantron question tests. It's objective. There is an answer. There is a right answer. Bada bing. Bada boom. I have control whether or not I'm going to know those right answers. People with external locus of control are more likely to experience anxiety since they believe they are not in control of their lives. Boom. Going back to that, right? Everybody experiences stress. Everybody does. I experience stress when I have weight on the bar over my body. It's stressing my body. It's new. It's hard. It's challenging. It's change. There I go with those burps again. I really hope you guys didn't hear that. I apologize. God darn it. Gotta get more professional on this. Um, right? I, I it, it, That's challenging. But guess what I also have? I have control over that weight. I do. I have control over that weight. It's stressful, but I have control over that weight. S st studying for that test, right? It's, it's, it's stressful. There's a lot of new concepts for me to learn. There's a lot of stuff for me that I want to remember. It's stressful, but I also have control over it. It's just stressful. Anxiety, in my opinion, right? We talked about this many, many times before. I believe anxiety is stressing on things you and fixating on things you cannot control, right? So going back to the girl or going back to the the, the sports, 
So it's it's stressful to make sure you 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 do it right. You want to impress that girl. You want to be nice to her, right? It's stressful. You may be in your head being like, "Oh my god, did I say the right things?" All these different things. That's stressful. But it's stress that you're focusing on yourself, saying, "Well, I'm just stressing myself, making sure I get it right." Wide receiver. I want to make sure. It's stressful, right? It's stressful for me to make sure I achieve 100% of my abilities. I do whatever I can do to help my team. The anxiety for both factors would come when I lay in my head down at night and be like, oh my God, I just wanted to like me. I just wanted to love me. I love her so much. You can't worry about that, buddy. You did everything you can do. Now it's up to her to decide whether she likes you or, you know, oh my God, we need to win this game. We need to win this game. I really, 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 really hope we win this game. You can't worry about that, buddy. Do what you can do, play your role, and hopefully the rest of the other 10 guys on, on your side of the field are going to do the exact same thing to play their role to help your team win. It's not on you no more. And that's, in my opinion, is when anxiety comes when we're fixating and focus on things that we cannot control. Internal locus of control is good, and an external locus of control is bad. There are other variables to be considered. However, psychological research has found that people with a more internal locus of control seem to be better off. They tend to be more achievement oriented and get better paying jobs. Um, and there's nothing on the external. But yeah, they tend, to, right? Going back to that test, if you have an internal focus, internal locus of control, right? An internal focus on responsibility, an internal focus on, on, on accomplishment, damn right you're going to be more achievement oriented. And have and have a higher paying job, right? Going back to that test. If you believe, right, the test test you can you can equivalent test to anything right your your income your success in business your success in whatever and and then your success in that test whatever you results on that test you get if you know and you believe in your heart that it is 100% factored upon what you do how you study how you prepare right how you train then you are going to train you are going to prepare you are going to study more no shit, Jesus. You know, no shit, Sherlock. Come on, baby. And then obviously. Um, and then, you know, vice versa. If you think no matter what you do, no matter what you do, the universe is going to control everything and the universe's fate is, is what's going to dictate the entire outcomes in your life, then obviously you're not going to train hard. You're not going to prepare hard. You're not going to study hard. Why would you? You truly believe that what you do has no effect on the outcomes in your life. I wouldn't, I wouldn't work hard either. No way would I work hard. Locus of control is often viewed as an inborn personality component. However, there is also evidence that it is shaped by childhood experiences, including ch children's interactions with their parents. Children who are raised by parents who encourage their independence and help them learn the connection between actions and their consequences tend to be more well-developed internal locus of control. So, you know, bada bing, bada boom. Going back to it at the beginning here, it's, it, uh, I, I, think I, I don't know if I stated it, but locus of control comes from personality psychology. So it's a personality trait. Everybody knows, right? It's the old, it's the old psychological debate, sociological debate between between nature and nurture. Is it is it personality based, or is it how you're raised? When is when is somebody's personality kind of locked in? You know, when 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 is their personality kind of fully formed? When is that? When when is their personality most um, you know volatile? When 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 can it be changed the most? It's definitely no matter what you know when no matter what the answer is, right? It definitely comes down to childhood, right? How you're raised is, has a lot to do with the personality you end up developing. Um, so you know, it can you can look back, be like you know, if if you really think you're next, not not something you can't be changed. It, it, may, it may have to be, you know, I was born with an internal locus of control, right? Or you know, not born with it. Let's just say I was raised with it. I was nurtured with it because that's how my parents talked about whatever whatever I did. It had consequences, and and whether good or bad, what, my actions had consequences. It, what I did made the outcome. They fixated on that. They made that evident in my life, my brothers and my sisters. So I was raised with, you know, developing an internal locus of control. My mom was actually the one who gave me the idea for this podcast. She's, she gave me the idea of a locus of, she's like, you should talk about the locus of control. So obviously she was aware of it and wanted to instill it within all of her children. If you're, If you were not raised like that, it doesn't mean you can't necessarily change. Now, it may have to be a very conscious change for the rest of your life. You may you may automatically go to the external locus of control every time you think of a situation, but you might have to con consciously pull yourself away from that and be like, nope, 
Nope. Where can I take responsibility for this? Where can I do, you know, this, that, and the third, where can I, you know, focus all of my efforts so I get the best outcome in my life? You know, it may not be conscious. It may never become a personality trait. I have air quotes, a personality trait for you. It may never be instilled in your personality, in your brain, in your subconscious ever, but you still have the conscious power to pull yourself away from that <clears throat> external locus. And you're like, no, we're, I'm going to take responsibility for this. That's what I did. <clears throat> um, Jesus, excuse me. I was like that forever in high school. I think I talked about it many times. I just blamed everything else on everyone else. I just said, you know, I just, I, I, I consciously did that. It, it, internally, it may be weighing on me and be like, you know what, this is on you, bud. This is definitely on you. But I would just find any ways to make, to justify with myself. Be like, like, <clears throat> like, oh, what you get on this? What, what grade did you get on this test? Oh, I got a C. What? A C? That's not acceptable in my home. And she's just like, you know, just just yelling at me. I'm like, Mom, but 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 Mrs. Mrs. Higgleschmitter, she just threw in this, that, and the third, and she said it was gonna be, you know, A, B, and then it was all just essay. It was so freaking hard. Actually, a C was average in the class. No, actually, a C was the best in the class. I got the best score in the class. Oh, you did, honey? Oh, well, it really must have been a hard test then. All right, Marsh, you're the man. And then the C was the worst in the class. You know, I had to lie through my friggin' teeth just so I can justify myself and make myself feel better. But like, yeah, yeah, it wasn't me. Yeah, uh-huh. I had a, I, I, I chose to consciously, you know, pull myself away from the internal and go external for a while. And when I finally got back to that internal control, which I love doing, right, it's all on me, bro. If, if a friend ditched me, I will find a way to make it my fault and not be like, oh, Marsha, you're a loser. It's all your fault. I'm not trying to weigh on you. I was like, oh, well, you know, it was this, that here. You know, I didn't remind them or this or that. It's no big deal. Oh, no big deal. I'm all good. It doesn't matter to me. It's not it's not about, you know, weighing on myself and just and being a pushover or anything like that. It's just like for me personally, accepting responsibility on all aspects of my life. Help me out. I have no anxiety. I have I minimize my stress. I'm just able to chill. I did what I can do. You know, oh, it's on me on me dang it all right then I, I didn't get the outcome i wanted up oh, it was on me well i learned i can get better next time to make sure i get the outcome i want it's that easy that's how i like to think um the benefits of this were specified in research study that looked at the potential health effects of the locust control trait researchers found that of more than 7500 british adults followed since birth those who had shown internal locus of control at the age of 10 were less likely to be overweight at the age of 30, less likely to describe their health as poor or show high levels of psychological stress. The major explanation to these findings was that children with the more internal locus of control behave more healthily as adults because they have a greater confidence in their ability to influence outcome through their own actions. They may have also have higher self-esteem. So yes, internal locus of control, folks, it comes down to their self-efficacy, their self-esteem, and their confidence within themselves. If they if they have these things, right? You have a high self-worth, you have a high self-confidence, high high self-efficacy, high, you know, whatever, high self-esteem in yourself, absolutely. You are going to be driven to do what you can do to achieve, you know, great things in your life because you believe you're in 100% control and you don't want to lose that image of yourself because you would know if you started to have low self-esteem, low self-confidence, it would, it would, it would stem back to, well, what am, what are my inputs? Am I studying hard enough? Right. Am I training hard enough? And am I preparing hard enough? Because my outcome is becoming less my outcomes are becoming horrible so obviously i have to go look back i have to go back to my feedback loop i have to look back at my inputs and say well what am i inputting in my processes of life that are making these bad outcomes these outcomes that i do not like it's on me vice versa if you were in um external folk you're sitting there and you're saying well yep my outcomes are bad my outcomes are bad my outcomes are bad my outcomes are bad well i'm looking up looking up at god Looking up at who's ever up there. What the hell's going on? Why are you making this shit so shitty? Looking at the government. Looking at my parents. Looking at my friends. Looking at the school system. Looking at, you know, the big business. Looking at all y'all. All y'all are to blame for why I'm, my outcomes are so sucky. They never take that feedback loop and go look back at their inputs and realize they're not putting anything well in their inputs. Inputs, arrow, outputs. Whatever you put in your inputs, arrow, that'll become your outputs. You put shitty inputs in arrow, you're going to get shitty outputs. You put healthy, positive, productive inputs in arrow, you're going to get healthy, positive, productive outputs. Is this hard folks? I don't think this is goddamn hard, but yet 
I thought it was hard in high school, man. I could not understand this. Could not understand why I had a lot of friends, but yet I did not have one single friend. You know what I'm talking about? I think that may have just hit deep for y'all, right? I had a lot of friends in high school, but I really didn't have one single friend. Yeah, yeah. Hitting deep in the soul today. So, right, I, I, but I, couldn't, I couldn't take that feedback loop, look back and be like, well, what type of inputs are I putting in? Well, I'm sarcastic, right? I don't, I don't, I'm not telling anybody about myself. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wearing a mask, playing at the border, just being like, yeah, I'll get, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know much about me that I'll let you know, but I want you to tell me everything about you. Well, if, right, if, if you want trust, you have to give a little bit of trust. If you want intimacy, you have to give a little bit of intimacy. If you want, you know, per, you know, personal stuff about people, you want to hear personal stuff about people, you got to give away a little bit of personal stuff about yourself. I didn't do any of that. So what did I get? I got everything that I gave in. Pretty simple. Last quote I have on here, which I love this one. This is another one that's on my wall. Do not be a product of your circumstances. Be a product of your decisions. That right there, external versus internal. Product of your circumstances, you're external. You'd be like, well, you know, let's, let's, this is this is what I want to use, right? A, 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 um, a minority getting into a gang. He's like, well, you know, my neighborhood's shitty. I can't get a job because of my skin color. I can't do this or that or the third. You know, I'm not trying to make it. This is not anything about race or anything, but you know, just being like, you know, I, I had to get into it. Right. It's just, it's my only choice. It's just what, you know, that's what my brother did. My older brother did. My dad did. It's just what we do. That's what we do. No, it's not. It's what you think you need to do. But if you were an internal, you were a product of your decisions. And I know many people that say this, right? We love these people that do. They go, no, I turned away from that stuff. My entire family before me, they all got into that gang life. I was not, I am not going to get in that gang life. I am better than this. You are taking that internal locus of control. You are being a product of your decisions. The last thing I have here is basically just common signs. Um, this kind of ties into victim mentality, but it's also, again, victim mentality when it comes to blaming people about their failures. That is, that is, that is an example of a, an external locus of control. So here's, here's just some signs. I have a lot of them here. Um, external locus of control, common signs. You're constantly blaming others for your situations and feeling miserable. You, you possess a life is against me philosophy just as i was talking about before you're looking up at god you're looking up a big pharma you're looking up a big business you're looking up the government your school your parents your friends everybody's out to get me everybody hates me everybody's always trying to tear me down i know you know people like that um these people see their problems as catastrophic and blow them out of proportion right to the little tiny things you know these folks they come to you with a little problem the problem that makes you roll your eyes but they're just like oh the world is ending the sky is falling this is horrible 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 it's like jesus christ settle down it's, it, it, why they're doing that is because they want your pity they want you to be like oh yeah man they want you to validate their 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 victim mentality they want you to validate their external locus of control um they think others are purposely trying to hurt them. Um, I'm, 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 I'm reading this weird. They, they say you. Um, you believe you are the only one being targeted for mistreatment. Uh, even when things go right, you find something to complain about. Literally, the post on my Instagram today was, stay away from negative people. They find a problem to every solution. Even when things go right, negative people, external locus control people, you know, um, victim mentality people will find something wrong about a right situation. They're, they're, they're very negative. Get away from them. Going back to the last episode on surroundings, get away from victim mentality, folks. Get away from negative people. Get away from external locus to control people. Um, you feel attacked even when giving struct constructive criticism. <laughs> Again, they, they want your validation within self-pity. They want your validation of the, their external locus of control. They want your validation within their um, victim mentality. And if you try to go the other way, I know one friend like this, man. Whoo! Oh, man, every time his mom tries to tell him the right things about him, he just blows up. It's like, you're just mad at her because she's right. We all know she's right. You're just mad at her because she's not telling you exactly what you want to hear. You're a baby. You're, you're, you have a victim mentality. Um, you believe you are not responsible for what happens in your life. Others are. You believe that everyone is better off than you. You seem to enjoy feeling sorry for yourself. Again, they want your self-pity. They want, they want your pity on them because they wallow in self-pity and they need your validation. Um, you attract people like you who complain, blame, or feel victimized by life. You have a habit of blaming, attacking, or accusing those who love you for how you feel. Those who 
accusing those you love for how they feel. Oh, you have a habit of blaming, attacking, or accusing those you love for how they feel. So going back to my friend there with his mom, like he literally just attacks her when he's like, when she comes back with the right, she's saying the right thing. She's saying, yo, you had control over this. This is your fault. Ah! And the, the dude was just freak, bro. Um, uh, yeah, you feel powerless to change the circumstances. That's external all the way. Uh, you gain, you expect to gain sympathy from others. Again, they want your pity. They want your validation. And when you don't get it, you feel upset. <laughs> My friend, he, he explains to his mom why he's upset. If when she doesn't validate his, his pity, doesn't validate his external, doesn't validate his victim, victim mentality. He blows up. He gets mad. He needs to listen to this podcast. I don't think he will, but he needs to listen to this. Um, uh, you refuse to analyze yourself or improve your life, right? Don't want to get better. You just want to continue what they're what they're what they're doing. You tend to one up people when it comes to sharing your traumatic experiences. <laughs> Going back to the you know the world is ending just just has this this has this catastrophic problems all the time and they blow them out of proportion. They love that like you know like oh well you know this person comes in with this catastrophic thing like oh really well my dad died today oh your dad died today well. Here, here's my problem, you know, I, I got my toe cut off and, and somebody shot me in the head, but I still managed to live and my grandma died and my mom died on the same day. They're just, you know, it's just, it's going back and forth and they're trying to make up this ridiculous stuff to make them seem bad. Even if it's not that bad, they'll try to make it seem bad. You are constantly putting yourself down, constantly putting yourself down. Again, you wallow in self-pity. These people wallow in self-pity. They live in self-pity. They live for it. That's how they feel comfortable. That's how they feel better about themselves. And they're looking and, and then they, and they explain all of their problems in life to other people because they want other people's validations. They want other people to pity them as well. They want people to be like, oh yeah, your, your victim mentality, your external locus of control, it's all justified. We completely understand it. We agree with it. So again, Leaders inspire accountability through their ability to accept responsibility before they place blame. I believe personally, if you take responsibility for your life, you take accountability for your life, the anxiety will minimize, the, the, the stress will minimize, and the anxiety will diminish. It's up to you to determine the outcomes in your life. Have some internal locus of control today and the rest of your life. Share this with somebody. Um, share this with share this with an external locus of control person and try to pull them more to the internal side. Episode 29 of Happy Campers on locus of control. The degree to which a person believes they have control over the outcome and events of their lives. It's a belief system regarding the causes of his or her experiences, the factors to which that person attributes success or failure. Are you in control of your outcomes or is everything else? Hmm. I'm going to take the internal route. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Happy Campers. And like always, until next time, take care, my friends.